Hello everyone, this is Inspired Tuesday number 28 because our team at Silver Lake Dental Center believes that starting the day motivated and inspired sets up the rest of the day for success. We bring quotes to our morning huddles and it has been so positive to our team that we decided to share it with you and hope to motivate and inspire you as well. Today the topic is strive for excellence. Excellence doesn't happen by accident, it happens by design. And to strive for excellence, it's one of the most powerful thing you can do for yourself. I have in here three tips. I'll talk about two tips, bring a quote, and one more tip. Enjoy. Tip number one is work in a team and for the team. There's no doubt that in order to strive for excellence, we get a master skills and invest in our team. Of course, our front desk go for classes that teach about insurance, dental, medical, and we learn language, we get coached. And we also have our assistants always learning what's new in the market and we use the best material in the market. So we have our doctors and hygienists taking continued education, that's no doubt in there. However, when we're talking about excellence in a team as a whole, it's just like talking about sports. If you have a great player and if he goes and play alone and the team is not backing him up, no matter how excellent and how good he is and how much he mastered that skills, he cannot win the game. That's the same thing for us as a team in a clinic. For example, the doctor, if I am looking for the highest excellence I can achieve in every single restoration I do. If my assistant is not doing the same thing and she doesn't believe on the same thing, there is no way I'm gonna achieve success because if a patient, for example, get in the front desk and doesn't have a great experience right there, no matter what I do with the restoration, or how, no matter how I talk to the patient, she's not gonna have or he's not gonna have the experience that we would like to give. So this is definitely a team effort and uh, that's how I believe it's an excellence per person, but in a team as a whole, so we can provide the best excellent work to our patients. Tip number two is bring your A game to everything you do. There's different things we do in life. And when I'm at the clinic, I'm the dentist, then I go home, I cook for the family, I study with my kids, I entertain friends, or I plan birthday parties, whatever I do, I believe I should give my all. Because there's no shortcut to excellence, you gotta do the right things to get there. Even if you're cooking, you can't just do whatever because then it's gonna be ever, it's not gonna taste good. And once you master skills, opportunities are gonna open up. When I was in college, I was in a tutoring program. I was, I signed up for that. I had a good grade and I, I was tutoring organic chemistry and biology. So when I finished college, I, I had a baby and the moms, many of them kept calling me. I would be like, hey, I have a baby right now. I can't do this. They would come in take care of my baby so I could tutor their kids. And once I applied to dental school, I had the best letter of recommendation from this tutoring program. Yes, I didn't think I would have, uh, my job would be an educator or a tutor, but I still gave my all and that's how I got opportunities coming from that. So make sure to give your all to everything you do and that's how you can get excellence. <laughs> A quote from Oprah Winfrey, let excellence be your brand. When you're excellent, you become unforgettable. Doing the right thing, even when nobody knows you're doing the right thing, will always bring the right thing to you. Tip number three is accept your differences. Life isn't fair and some people come in from a less privileged background with no financial support, don't speak the language, have some kind of disability and there's a lot of prejudice and stereotype in the world but what are you gonna do about it? You're gonna go and complain or choose excellence to win the game? I read about Oprah Winfrey that her grandma used to make her clothes from potato bags so she could go to school. What did she do? She didn't go and complain. Definitely she chose excellence and today she's an inspiration to all of us with her success. Make sure to not let your differences hold you back and choose excellence so you can also win the game. I hope you guys like the topic and the quote today and leave comments below to what do you do to strive for excellence. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. 
and make sure to subscribe to our Silver Lake Dental Center YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more Inspired Tuesdays.